All right, guys, today we are getting ready for the first install for this 2024 summer, guys. We're installing a two-zone Fujitsu ductless mini split system, and uh, we're gonna show you how it gets done. Here we go. All right, guys, today we're working on a Fujitsu two-ton. Pretty big, right? 24,000 condenser. We got one head going here and another one going there. So our line set covers are gonna be running this way. Let's get it done. Let's mount the condenser first. Here we go. We got the baker scaffold out today. We got the condenser on here. Moving. And mount it right there. You okay? Okay. Beautiful. That's where she's going. Right there. Studio is nice, baby. Yeah. Guys, we're using some 3 8 lag bolts here. How does it look now? Beautiful. I just wanted to put nice. it on. Yeah. See how it hangs. Absolutely. I okay, good. Alright, that is mounted. Came out the good. The only way I could do it is move the scaffold to me because I gotta get out Okay. Of the Go ahead, unlock the wheels, move it. She's solid. We're just waiting to catch the other bolt on the other side. Go ahead. Oh, hold on. Oh, Hitting right. the gutter. Don't hit the gutter. Hold on. Alright. Man. Nice day out here. Beautiful. New Fujitsu. Two ton. Ductless mini split condenser. Going in. You're good. We already prefab some of the electric here. Got our disconnect. Got our surge protector there. Go ahead. I think you're hitting the uh, snow, uh, yes, snow blower down there. All right. Beautiful. All right, guys. Let's wrap this up. That story. Right now, guys, we're just hooking up the electric yeah. L1, L2. We're using what our six foot prefab whip here. We got all our seal tight fittings on here. L1, L2, and we're gonna put our ground right to here. And uh, then we'll start with the line set over there. All right, guys, we had all the electric done. We're using these fork spade connectors. We got our L1, L2 on our ground right here. We're gonna button this up, put the cover back, and then we'll have to take it back out when we do our control wiring. We're working on the surge protector there and uh start running our line sets new rhh 50 surge protector perfect all right and you got the disconnect we gotta put it what's the service leave it on top here leave it on top and then just put the door on and then we'll start drilling the inside all right just 12 000. going here and there let's get it done All right, so guys, we are mounting the indoor units now, but we want to come center of that seven inch soffit right here, right there. So we want to make sure we measure properly and accurately to get center so we can start our starting fitting here and then run across it with the nice white covering. So let's measure inside and let's get it done. We're just drilling with our extension bit and there's our hole right there. We got it pretty good. Center right there, there's your hole. Getting the scaffold moved over. I'm gonna drill it from here so it don't chip. Let's see. There it is. Beautiful. Let's run our line set through. Same path. I think that one's on the other side of the window. But on the same path run. So you could possibly put two into one? Uh, I do have a T-fitting. Yeah. I have a T-fitting and that snorkel that will get around that uh, electrical meter right there yes yes all right good all right guys so we got our line set through our condensate through and our control wiring right on our 250 foot reel right there we're gonna make a nice turn here we'll use our starter fitting here and we're gonna run across this whole soffit right here it's really gonna look nice guys it really is uh the condensate i don't know what i'm doing with it yet i propose to the homeowner that you know we can let it drip here but there's a window right below us uh, we can shoot for that gutter there. Well, we can shoot for that one, but the shortest point is right there. So, you know, have to see if if we could, I don't know, maybe throw some more line set cover this way and run the condensate through there. What do you guys think? Or would you just come all the way down and run it here along this gray siding? I don't know. I might stick out like a sore thumb just like me. So we'll see. Maybe we'll throw some, some uh, covering this way and shoot it right to that leader line let me know what you guys think all right that's the second head i didn't show you the indoor units but i will in a second look at that dead center of that soffit 
Beautiful. You can see right in there. Oh, look at a hole. Look at a hole. All right, let's finish drilling this. We'll start running our, our line set cover. Okay, here we go. Got our control wire that we're unraveling, sending it through that way. What happened? No? All right. All right, guys, we got the second indoor unit in. And right now, we're just going to run our line sets and our covers. Let's well, see. We're not using that snorkel. You guys think I could sneak behind here? I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to make it work. I think it'll work. The electric's already done. We did a little... We did a little unorthodox this time. We did the electric first. We got our surge protector, a disconnect, 30 amp breaker inside. And uh, with the Fujitsu's, guys, you got to take the top panel off to get to the electric compartment. Kind of pain in the ass, but I think Fujitsu is the only one that does that. The electric is really high up in the right hand corner, but it's going to look good. It's going to work and uh, it better because if it don't, we don't get paid. Let's, uh, we're gonna swing this drain that way, swing this line set this way. Here we go. One. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. Richie's doing the other. Beautiful. All right, guys, so we got our four inch line set covers here. We went with the white color. And right now we got three lengths up. We're gonna shoot the condensate that way. And for this one, we're going to shoot the condensate that way towards that leader. So uh, right now we're cutting a piece flush to here and then another full length to get around that um, that piece of galvanized, that inch and a half galvanized pipe. That goes all the way to their pole. <sighs> to those two live lugs right there. Let's, uh, let's get another full length up and let's see if we can squeeze it. All right, guys, we're using all the Navax tools today. We got the Navax automatic flaring tool, which is great, beautiful. I still got to buy the 516 head for this one. And guys, today we're using Navax digital torque wrench, which is really nice, guys. Uh, we're going to try it out today, and uh, we're going to show you how it gets done. I think on 3.8, correct me if I'm wrong, 3.8 probably about 11 foot pounds of torque and I think on the quarter inch one where I'm going to be using is I think eight foot pounds of torque guys correct me if I'm wrong but uh I will definitely look at the spec so we're going to be using the three eight head and the quarter inch head with the Nabak torque wrench here beautiful all right guys we got two 50 foot line sets three eight and quarter inch by Mueller streamlined Best in the market, guys. Best in the market. Got a great price, too, for them. So, right now, we're going to make some flares. 3.8. Quarter inch. Make sure this battery is good to go. Beautiful. 75%. All right. Let's uh, start making some flares. Here we go. All right, guys, so we got our four inch T that's going to go here, and the other side is going to pick up that condensate drain there. But we got a little, a little dilemma here because of this siding and this socket and this bump out. So we're not flush with the siding here, you can see. So we're going to be cutting some of that MDF that he's using and put a little brace behind it instead of it coming out an angle like that. What do you think? What do you think? Can you see that? You want it like that? Or you want it like that? What a little gap. What a gaping gap. Uh, longest screw? Maybe. We might need. Let's see. All right. Yeah? All right, guys. So we made two perfect flares with Navax flaring tool. Showed you once. Showed them all. Go ahead. Give me this length. Now we're just snapping this in so we can hold the weight of this line set here. Beautiful, good. I wish I could show you this torque wrench, but hard to do it with only two hands. Really nice tool, guys, really nice. We set the 3-8 side to 25 foot-pounds of torque. 25 foot-pounds of torque. This thing beeps and alarms when you're at that, when you're at that setting. All right, 
show you this side, just making our turns, making our tines here. 50% dead, we got three more flares to do. Hopefully it lasts, let's see. Let's see. Beautiful looking flare, beautiful. Very nice, all right, let's see. 25 foot pounds, we're gonna set to. 25 foot. Let's see. Let's do one more. Let's see. 13, 14, 19, 20, 25. A little more for shits and giggles. Beautiful. All right, let's do this one. This side is gonna be 12. So we're gonna set that to 12. A quarter inch side. And do 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Calibrate, set. And we'll do 12 on this side. on this puppy all right you know how to do it want to try yeah, yeah. take this yeah. put the nut put the nut first you want to do three eight side first yeah, there you go all right he's messing with that i'm going to use this non-metallic liquid type bimetal flex here for the control wire so i'm going to put a piece from here right into our seal tight and then come up on unit a here no i'm sorry unit b unit b this zone will be here unit b you're good yeah. you're ready you got, the, you got the jaw put that on there i want to cut a piece of this i don't know three foot piece okay good we made our tie-ins there Got all our line sets in. We got our drain that's gonna go into this liter and we'll do two more flares, test with nitrogen and be done. All right, we got our nitrogen set up right now. We're just gonna put about 200 pounds in here. Just wanna test this first zone. Let's put 200 in there, you good? All right, we're above 200, wait. Minutes. Let's see what our numbers are. See if we got a leak or not. I don't think we are. We should be all right. It's been five minutes. My gauge didn't drop. Well, we're just gonna test with uh, Big Blue's micro leak detector here. And I swear, invest in the tools, guys. Navax automatic flaring tool and their torque wrench. Game changer. Game changer, guys. Game changer. All right, let's close these up. Uh, let's pull a deep vacuum. And let's charge the system up. All right, 10 minutes and our needle didn't drop. Beautiful. All right, let's pull a deep vacuum. All right, we're gonna pull a deep vacuum here. We got our big half inch hose here up to our zone let's pull a deep vacuum here we go using navax 8 cfm vacuum pump Very nice damn i need to wax this up look at it on dropping baby keep dropping keep dropping and soon the pool will be open What is this, a uh, 14 foot round? I don't know. 
Probably four feet deep, maybe. No more. Think so? Yeah, yeah. You don't attack. I would say it's five feet deep. Five feet deep. I wonder where he keeps his uh his pump. Oh, see it back there. It's not even covered. Not covered or nothing. We should sell him a pool heater. Oh, deep vacuum. Deep vacuum holding. 150. Beautiful. Absolutely. Alright. So the suction line is open. Liquid is open. Let's put our caps back. Let's turn power on. Get him some heating. So he doesn't have to use that boiler down there. <laughs> but he said he has to. McLean. He has to, yeah, has because to. one of these uh I think the Jones. bedroom yeah. the bedroom and the basement. Not on this. Alright, this connects in. Search protectors in. The EEVs are making noise. And this fan is gonna turn on soon. Beautiful. All the EEVs are opening. Uh, yeah, put the top on, the cover. Um, those screws in that case, can I just have it? Those screws for the cover? Beautiful. All right, guys, we could have picked a warmer day out here. So we got power inside, we got them in heat mode, and this is acting as the evaporator right here. Guys, fucking cold out. Let's, uh, let's wrap this up. Uh, this cover here and uh, let's get on out of here guys. Don't forget. Jump for the bird shit. Jump for the bird shit. Alright ladies and gentlemen, and that is how it came out. Really came out nice guys. It really fits well and blends in with the soffit here. Really came out nice. We got our two and a half ton condenser here and you see how we did the drain line here right into the leader really nice touch guys really came out good all of our liquid tight Mueller line sets four inch line set covers really came out good guys um you know do the right job and you will get rewarded guys take pride in what you work invest in yourself invest in the tools all right guys and if you need a ductless mini split system installed you know who to call guys like always stay blessed stay safe Let's do yours next, baby.